All right, so we've talked about this once before in other videos regarding the TV antenna. I went ahead and got this over the air digital video recorder and I'll explain why in a moment. This is the HW150PVR. But first, to update you on the situation. The TV antenna with the Geo Pro, I don't think that it's inferior to any other similar antennas. There's nothing technically wrong with it. It's a small antenna, you can't expect a lot. The only thing you might be able to do is get one that automatically senses and turns to the direction. But the next best thing is to just sense where is your signal at and turn it yourself. Right now, if you have the Geo Pro or any of those antennas where you have to rotate them, you basically have to put the antenna pointing one direction, scan, see what you get. Point at 90 degrees, scan, see what you get. Point at another 90 degrees, scan, until you go all the way around. It takes like 10 minutes for my TV a scan. You're talking 40 minutes or so before you're even done. So I looked at getting TV signal scanners, which would just show you as you turn the antenna, you know, are you getting towards stronger signal. Cheaper ones were like 10 or 11 bucks, but none of them made noise. And I just wanted something I could have mounted and fixed in its place, and I just use it, and I don't have to hook up wires and drag it over and hold it next to me while I'm standing on the bed, turning the thing and looking at the dial. I wanted something I could hear. But by the time you get one that you can hear, Everything I was finding was 50 or 60 bucks. I didn't want to spend that kind of money. So the reason I purchased this, it was 22 bucks. Again, check out the johnnyoshow.com slash promotions. This is from my Amazon store. 22 bucks plus shipping and tax. It will tell you signal strength. It can also record and schedule recordings if you have a thumb drive put in it. So that's kind of cool. But what I like best is I can see its results on the TV screen that doesn't have to be right next to me. I can just turn on the TV and turn the knob and check the signal. That's my plan. Let's see how well it works out. This is the version that has component video out. Now the Furion TV does have HDMI in, obviously, but I'm using that for my Roku. This box has HDMI, but that is only for output. So if I use the HDMI from this box, then I couldn't have my Roku hooked up unless I added an additional switch box. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just use component video out to the TV. The other option you could use is RF out, but that's gonna look like poo-poo, so you don't really wanna do that. I may still keep the RF connected, just as a pass-through if I don't have this box on or don't want to run power to this box, like if I'm running on solar and want to keep my usage down. But for better quality video, you'd probably want to use the component. So this is the remote. It just uses two AA batteries, which do not come with it. Let's do a channel search. So this scan already seems to be finding more stations than what my scan just using the TV would find, which is a bit odd. This is cool, it actually shows you upcoming programs, which your TV can't do by itself, so that's kind of nice. So I'm gonna go ahead on this channel, for example, and pick info twice. When I click info twice, it comes up with this information here. And now you see your signal quality. Compared to the search on the TV, this search is more sensitive. So what's happening is it's picking up a lot more stations than my TV would ever list. Which a more sensitive search is what you want because having to turn at 90 degrees and scan and turn 90 degrees and scan and turn 90 degrees and scan is time consuming. If you could know where even the weakest signal was out there, once you've got a list of channels, you don't have to keep rescanning. Now you can just turn your antenna to the best quality. I've turned it a little bit, we're at 49. And I'm going to just turn this knob here until that gets the strongest. 66, 64, 58, 66. 
So right about there. That's about it, right there. That's the best signal. So that was easy. Yeah, now that I know exactly where to put this antenna, no more guessing. Look at that, I know exactly where to point this thing. All right, so now that I have it tuned, as you saw, to the best location, I went ahead and did a scan again, and now it found 45 channels. So basically within two scans, I was able to get the best location for this antenna using this. Using this is really sweet. Let's look at some other features it's got. I really like the fact that it tells you what's coming up next on certain digital channels. True Real says, Hoarders is coming up. Counting cars. It's kind of cool. The first 48 hours. Home improvement. I just want to be clear. Court TV. You have to admit, this is brings a little bit to the table compared to just having a signal scanner. So then you've got other features, which I don't have a thumb drive in here. We've got favorite programming. This is shows coming up. You could schedule these. You could go down and scroll through and then you could basically tell it to record it. So depending on what the digital broadcast provides you, you've got all kinds of uh, guide information for this channel. That's pretty slick. If you're looking for a way to find the best signal, I think for 22 bucks, this gives you a lot of extra features in addition to a basic signal finder. The PVR, the channel guide, those little things are kind of cool. And because it's on the screen, you don't have to run wires and hold a signal finder in your hand and look at the display and see what the signal strength is while you're turning the antenna because you can easily look over and look at the TV screen because it's nice and big and clear. This is a MediaSonic Homeworks. HW150 PVR, about 22 bucks on Amazon. Check it out through my store at thejohnnyoshow.com slash promotions. All right, so there you have it. It works really good. Within two scans, I had it to the best position. Within one scan, I had an idea of where all the signals were. I was able to then turn it to the best position, and then the second scan to get everything from there. It also scans a lot faster than the channel scan that comes with the TV. The only drawback I see is that you will need a switch box to switch the antenna signal to either go directly to the TV or to this device because the device won't just pass through. If it's turned off, your TV gets no antenna signal. So if there's times when you want to use this device, find out the best position for the antenna and then turn it off and just use your TV to conserve power, like if you're on solar, you, you can't do it unless you add an RF switch box. So I will be getting one of those, but other than that, I'm very pleased with the results. I hope you found this video useful.